Hey guys, it's really, really late at night and I have giant bags under my eyes and the lighting in this room is not helping. And to top that off, my house is a mess because as you guys know, we are moving soon and so there are moving boxes and random junk behind me. Anyways, now that I have made all of the excuses in the world, hi. Week, I went for my 24 week OB appointment and I just kind of wanted to update you guys quickly on that. To be honest, I was so focused on like certain questions that I had for the OB and like certain things that were going on and trying to remember things. I kind of missed out on a lot of the things that I really like to keep track of every single week. The first thing is, is no one came with me to my appointment this week. We had no one to watch the kids. So Alex was with the kids. James had wanted to come to the appointment with me, but the last minute he changed his mind. He did still really, really want to hear the baby's heartbeat though. And so I did get a recording of that, which is kind of the first time I've gotten a recording of that this pregnancy. So if you want to see it, there is a link to the video right there. What happened at this OB appointment? Okay, so first of all, they weighed me. It's funny because pre-pregnancy, I didn't really keep track of my weight very well. I was probably around 95 pounds when I got pregnant and I very, very quickly put on like over 10 pounds. I really wanted to do that. Like that was really important for me because I felt that, you know, 95 pounds is not a sustainable pregnancy weight. And so for most of my pregnancy, I have weighed around 108 pounds, I think. My first OB appointment that I went to was at 15 weeks pregnant, and at the time, I'm pretty sure they weighed me and I was 109 pounds. I do kind of show you guys how much I weigh every single week in my intro, but I have one of those stupid crappy scales that's got like the, the circular dial thing in it, and so I never know how reliable it is. This week, I went to the OB and I weighed 120 pounds, and it's kind of the first time that I've actually like seen that that number in a digital format made me realize that I've actually put on a lot of weight really, really recently. So I told you guys that I have been getting a lot of fat in the last couple of weeks and stuff like that, but I feel like one of the huge contributors to this weight gain is my blood pressure going up. Because as I told you guys, I was dizzy, I was faint, I was in a horrible state of low blood pressure for this entire pregnancy. And finally in the last like two or three weeks, it started to clear up. And so, you know, I do know that blood volume accounts for a huge amount of the weight that you gain during pregnancy. So I think that has something to do with my recent weight jump. So yeah, that was kind of cool. Just like seeing that on the scale in real numbers and not just on that little dial thing, which kind of always is off by like a couple of pounds, even if you step on it like five minutes apart. <laughs> so at the OB appointment, the diagnostic stuff she did was the heartbeat, which I told you guys, she measured my fundal height for the first time, but she didn't tell me what it was. And I was so busy thinking about other questions that I didn't ask. And so one of the questions that I asked her kind of right after she did my fundal height, which it's funny, she didn't even really answer it the way that I wanted an answer, but I didn't push her further because I had so many questions at this OB appointment. When she was doing my fundal height, she pressed and I guess the baby's bum or legs or something was right where she pressed and it really hurt. Like I went, ow. And I find that that's happened a lot this pregnancy. If the baby is where people put their hands on my belly, it hurts. And I don't remember that ever being for other pregnancies. I remember getting sore spots if the baby kicked for a really long time in one spot, but I don't remember having sore spots that were so sore that like when someone pressed on me, it hurt. And so that's been something that's really, really different this pregnancy. I honestly don't even remember what she said about it, but it was not really a good answer to my question. Another thing that I did ask her about was whether or not it was possible for the baby to be breech right now. Because as I told you guys, I think it was in my 23 week video, I've been having these really, really awkward low down movements. I don't know, I was kind of curious if like the baby had flipped and I was feeling feet down there or if the baby was just like having her hands up by her face and I was feeling her hands down there. Um, but the OB, I don't know, like when I had midwives with my first pregnancy, they would always tell me like, oh, this is this, that is that, and they'd feel all around. I was kind of expecting her to do that when I asked if there was a possibility of the baby being breached, but she's like, I don't even wanna worry about that at this point in the pregnancy because there's still a lot of room for the baby to move around and flip and whatever else. And I don't even wanna get you worked up about that. that that being said, I would be really disappointed if I ended up getting a C-section because the baby was breached. Like that would 
be one of the most disappointing reasons to have to end up with a C-section because as you guys know, I did have a C-section with my first, which was necessary. They tried to get me to have a C-section unnecessarily with my second and I ended up having a vaginal birth. So to have to go in for a C-section for something as silly as the baby just won't flip over, that would drive me crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. I asked a crap ton of questions that I don't even remember now, but they were really, really important to me at the time. I worry about switching to a new OB or a midwife or something like that. Basically, she told me that she can kind of switch me at any point. As it stands right now, we will be moving to a new city when I am, I think, almost 34 weeks pregnant. And that's really, really late in a pregnancy for me to switch care providers. So I'm thinking at my next appointment in four weeks, I'm actually gonna have a care provider in mind. I'm gonna get her to switch me right then and there. And I'm just gonna start driving an hour away in order to see this new care provider, just so that I can like get used to them, get comfortable, whatever else. But speaking Speaking of that, I actually did call midwifery clinics in the city where we're moving into just to ask them if there was any possibility at all, if there was any space open at all for a new patient. One of them didn't answer the phone and of the two that did answer the phone, one said like there was absolutely no possibility. The other ones actually sounded kind of optimistic. They were like, there's no nothing right now, but we can put you on a wait list. And I asked how long the wait list was just so I could get some kind of idea of if it was actually going to be a realistic possibility or not. And they were like, well, well, it, it, you know, it also depends on like what kind of patients we would put first and stuff like that. And so I did mention that there was a possibility that I would want a home birth if I was able to get a midwife, which I think may push me up on the list a little bit. So yeah, I'm just hopeful that something like that happens. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Like it was a really uneventful appointment. Another thing that I did not ask, which is so stupid because I've been wondering about it, but you know how I was saying earlier that my blood pressure seems to have gone up because I'm not feeling very dizzy anymore. When she took my blood pressure for the first time ever in like the history of doctors taking my blood pressure, I didn't ask what it was, which is so stupid because this is the time when I really, really wanted to know if, you know, the reason I was feeling the way I was feeling is because my, my guess was correct. So yeah, that was pretty much it. It was a really, really uneventful OB visit. I will have more to tell you guys next time I go to the OBs, hopefully. I left there with a requisition for the, what is that? The like one hour glucose test and a urinalysis and like a couple of other little excuse me, and like a couple of other little things that you do between 24 and 28 weeks. When I was with Joe, I skipped the glucose test. I really would prefer to have skipped the glucose test this time, but I forgot to ask her. And by the time I go in for my next appointment, it's gonna be too late to do any of the tests. So it sucks because now I have to do the glucose test and I just don't wanna drink that nasty orange liquid. Yeah, sorry, this video was so boring and kind of just like informational in the worst way because I didn't get any information. I we'll be back soon and we will talk soon. <laughs>so most of my movement is up at the top of my belly but now all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of movement really low down like I'm talking basically behind my pubic bone. Low enough down that you can't see it from the outside and you also can't feel it from the outside like I can feel it from the inside and that's it and I think based on like my ultrasounds with like James, if I'm remembering correctly, or maybe it was Joe, that it's her moving her hands around near her face or something like that, but it's so uncomfortable. I mean, it is just weird. It feels weird. It kind of makes you get like butterflies. I don't know, like you're gonna be sick when it happens. So it's not the most enjoyable of all the movement. So I talked a lot in my first pregnancy about how horrible sex was, and that's because it was so so horrible. Like it always felt like I was getting stabbed with a knife and like burned forever after. And then on top of that, I don't know if it's from like swelling or what, I would get crazy shooting sciatic leg pains that were so bad. They would happen for days after. And so I was really, really pleased in this pregnancy because that stuff wasn't happening until this week.